Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how to fix a broken emergency brake on your car. Now as they age, these stupid emergency brakes break. This one's so old, half the pieces are missing, so I got a brand new part. This may be a 67, but these Volkswagen air-cooled engines, they got a lot of parts that are totally interchangeable. So I was able to buy this brand new. Now the first thing we have to do, get the old one off. And by looking at the new one, you can see there's little clips here. We get these spreaders. And you put them in the clip, expand them so it comes off. Would have been better if the idiots would have put sir clips on it, but I guess that's asking for too much. So it's always fun working on these cheap designs. If they would have put a little hole on each side, it'd come right off. But of course, this is some cheap design the Germans came up with just to make it a pain in the butt. But eventually, ah, uh, finally it popped off. Now I'm not going to film it on the car because there's no room to film. But once you get one side out, then the rod comes out. And as you can see, the other side has a circlip. You don't care because it's slid out. We'll just save this one to put on when we put it back in. As you can see, the one on the car is the same way. We're going to get this little clip off. Turns out this one was a lot easier because it's old. There it goes. We don't care. We'll throw it away. We already have a new one. Then the pin, hey. A little bit of wiggling here. It just comes right up. Easier said than done. <laughs> there, now we got a screwdriver. We can just push it out and take the whole stupid thing out. And out it comes. Well, it was in there for 60 something years, so I guess it's going to be tight. But now it's out. And we'll use the end over. And we'll use this over too, the cover. Off it comes. Now we'll get the new handle and we'll slide it in. And we got to make sure we got the emergency brake cable on the side so it slides over. Then we get the pin over here and we push it through. There, now it's sticking out. And we'll put lock ring back on and as I said they're a lot easier going on than they're off because going on you just have to snap them on and you can actually do that with your bare fingers there now it's locked in place then right here you fish the cable up wiggle it a bunch then get a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it up so you can get the nut on it up it comes and we'll put this one over there that's an extender because it's an old worn out car then put the 10 millimeter bolt on the end and tighten it up and we just have a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet we'll just get it till it's nice and snug and there we have it a working emergency brake you try pushing it doesn't move now the emergency brake's working but this is an old beetle style system and although this one's on there's also a cable that goes to the other one, but it's broken. And it's a royal pain in the ass, but I have one, so I'm going to show you how to put that on next. So we got the cable, and we got to take off the tire on the back. This is the side that's broken. Off it comes. Ah! We'll take the bolts off, and hold the drum on, and whack it. Off it comes. Now since the cable here is broken, we'll just pull it off and cut this end off. Then we can get the old one off. We'll just cut it with a grinder. And off it comes. And this end here is stuck. So I put vice grip pliers on. I can wiggle it around. Here's that. We'll hit it with a hammer. Off it comes. So now we have that end out. We got to go under the car to get the other end out. So we put the vice grip pliers on the other end. Pull on it. Out it comes. And as we can see, the other end here, it snapped off. Then we just feed it into that hole. There it is. It's pushed in. Then we fish the cable through the hole. We connect the other end to the brake shoe here. So the next time your emergency brake stops working, fix it yourself. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.